Preparing for Blade Runner 2049 3D Review, Part 1. Why do I have a Part 1 and why do I have a Part 2? Well, you simply cannot watch or review Blade Runner 2049 3D without first going over Blade Runner 1982, and this is the final cut. So I wasn't sure how to title this uh, this video. You have to talk about Blade Runner. You cannot review Blade Runner 2049 without talking about Blade Runner. A monumental science fiction movie of the 20th century. You know, someone said, who are the two most famous presidents of the United States? And, to, and automatically people will say George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Ask people two movies of the 20th century and you'll hear Wizard of Oz and Blade Runner. I've done it. It's true. This movie is talked about in filming schools, uh, artistic schools, schools of music. Um, this movie changed everything. This movie, so many movies came from this movie. So many science fiction movies came from this movie. You cannot talk about Blade Runner 2049 3D without talking about Blade Runner, the final cut. So this is why I'm here. I don't want you to watch Blade Runner 2049 3D without watching Blade Runner, and I want you to watch the final cut. You know there were seven cuts to this movie. Seven cuts. Think about that. Uh, growing up, I was... Grew up on the, the cut where there was the voiceovers, uh, where Harrison Ford was talking, describing everything. That was kind of my beloved cut. But when I picked up the final cut, when I picked up the final cut, and I watched it, it's like a whole different movie. You know, Ridley Scott, it was seven years in the making of this final cut. Got it on now. Uh, they used 4K conversion. They had to fill in uh, some move, uh, sound gaps. Uh, they actually reshot some scenes with a green screen. As you know, they put in that famous uh, unicorn scene. We're going to talk about that in a minute. And when I was growing up as a kid, well, not as a kid, 25 years ago, I played the Blade Runner game for Windows, Westwood. I played this for hours. It was a click game, a click and point and click game. Fantastic game. It's inspired, Blade Runner inspired so much science fiction. Blade Runner inspired music. Blade Runner inspired video games. It's just a, you cannot talk about 2049 without talking about Blade Runner. Harrison Ford was in his prime. Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott was known for shoots, retakes, 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 retakes. Look at the, some of the, uh, this was before CGI. All these things you see here, that these, these are models. These are huge models. Every little light in every window is a fiber optic. That's in a museum, in a museum somewhere. This movie is just transcends time. This movie transports you to the future. If you were in 90, 1982 watching this, this movie would have transported you to the future like no other movie. The aviance, the music. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit here. The aviance, it, you, you, you're there. You're in, in the future in 2019 in Los Angeles. The seediness of it, the, the, the smoke, the rain, the moral issues here in this movie. It has to be, it has to be watched. Um, they used a lot of back lots. Ridley Scott with his close camera shots. And here's the big controversy. And I know you got to be a fan or you wouldn't even have been listening to this for this long. The big controversy was, was Harrison Ford... Was Rick Deckard a replicant, or was he not? 
Ridley Scott's a director says he was. Ridley Scott, he put in some extra scenes in there, unicorn scenes, and says he was a replicant. Harrison Ford says he was not a replicant. So the controversy lives. It'll always live. We can talk about this forever. Uh, I personally felt he was a replicant. Uh, especially on the final cut when Ridley Scott puts in that uh, the glowing eyes and the unicorn scene I know some people say Ridley Scott wanted him to be a replicant he was never a replicant in the book wasn't supposed to be a replicant uh, you know this was made from that novel I believe it was do androids count electric sheep uh, supposedly in that book he was not a replicant Harrison Ford says he wasn't a replicant other people, there's controversy about it. People say, how could he be a replicant if he shows up in 2049 and he's old? Which makes sense, because replicants only live to be four years, but he could have been some kind of a different type of replicant. We don't know. We don't know the controversy will be going on forever. Um, the movie itself, Blade Runner 1982, the final cut. Uh, you have to be a fan of science fiction. There, there are, it's not a perfect movie. There are some, there's some scenes that kind of drag, but I'll tell you what, the action at the end, the action, incredible. It's like Die Hard at the end. You're just on the edge of your seat. And there's some moral things here about, you know, what, how, this human aspect. There's a scene in the end when somebody dies and a dove flies away and that's his soul going to heaven. It's it's very touching. It's you're gonna you're gonna be transported in time. So here's the point that I'm making here tonight. I don't want to take any more of your time. You have to go out and get the final cut. You have to get the final cut. You have to watch the final cut. And I'm going to I've watched it. I'm going to give you a little bit of time. I'm going to rewatch this again so I can give you a great review on Blade Runner 2049 3D. So stay tuned for part two, okay? So what did you think? Now is the time to comment on Blade Runner, the final cut. Is it your favorite cut? Is it not? Was Harrison Ford a replicant? Was Rick Deckard a re replicant? Was he not a replicant? Leave some comments below. Let me know. Hang in there. I look forward to giving you the review of uh, 2049. Uh, hit like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Have a good night, and as always, God bless. I'll see you in a few. We'll get this 2049 3D review done. I want to make it the, the absolute finest. Have a good night, and God bless.